Hey guys and welcome back to another video, Ant and Fornia here. So today in this video we're going to just be going over a list of foods um, that I feed my ants and just let other people feed their ants and just a list of healthy foods and good foods that we know help in, uh, your colony grow and thrive. So this is just a list of them and um, in this video I do have videos of me feeding my ants some of these items. I couldn't feed them all because I didn't have a whole week to do it because the video does go up today on Friday. But I fed my ants some of them. So here is a list and a couple of videos of my ants and I'll just walk you guys through it. But um, if this video helps a lot, please leave a like and uh, maybe consider subscribing here in the notification bell so you get um, notified when I upload. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. So first we have fresh water. Fresh water is always good for your colony. And then we have sugar water, which is another good source. And we have honey, either sugar, I mean honey water or regular honey and maple syrup water. So you just mix them all together with water and it says to. And then for protein, you can give crickets, any insects pretty much. Uh, fruit flies are good for your insect, uh, for your ant colony. And then also you can do fish cooked or raw, but I prefer if you guys cooked your fish for your ants because it gives them a less chance of getting salmonella because ants can get sal uh, salmonella. They can be carriers of all those bacteria that we can get. But my ants didn't really like uh, the the fish all I saw eat it was my uh, campanatus ants they ate it and then I gave them um, chicken because chicken is a good source of protein but um, as like the fish you got to make sure it's either boiled or baked because it does carry salmonella and your ants can be carriers of salmonella and then if your ants have salmonella that's just um, that's just a whole bad case but yeah I tend to all your raw meats like fish and um, like fish and um, chicken and uh, crab and shrimp and all those different things you can feed your your uh, your your ants I would tend to always boil it or bake it with no seasoning or anything just straight uh, the meat but my ants uh, my fedoli colony didn't really like the uh, the uh, chicken but my uh, campanatus ants my campanatus color were in love with it I think they sat there and ate on it for about an hour just sitting there both the two workers because there's I have three workers in that colony last three workers in that colony last time I checked and two were in and out as you can see right there both back and forth just getting chunks and you could see the chunks in their mouth of food but they're just going back and forth and then here's just a nice little video of them eating on it Okay, and then you can give them eggs. Um, lots of ants tend to like eggs, but um, none of my colleagues did like the eggs. They all tended uh, to not even smell them or check them out, at least that I can see, or saw. And then they just, I don't know, I just kind of just sat in there. They didn't want nothing to do with it. But then next you can give them um, dubia roaches, which is a feeder insect that is commonly known. And I put them in there around like four-ish and then before I went to sleep, I just checked on them again just to see. And my uh, Myrmecarubia colony, which is in here in this uh, in this setup right here, they actually were uh, eating on it. But then they started to move their brood out of their nest, their test tube, because the light was on it. So I didn't, uh, decided to stop. And then my Fidolis, they devoured it. And my um, Campanatus, they actually um, they didn't actually get to eat it. My isopods in there, which is my Roly Polies. Uh, actually ate all the food they didn't get to eat it and then the last one that I'm gonna go cover is uh, mealworms every ant likes mealworms every ant species and any reptiles or anything you guys care for likes mealworms but there'll be a full list down below of more stuff that I probably didn't mention or just uh, uh, in depth if you want to remember it'll be down in the description and before I go I just want to talk to you guys and say that uh, the website is not it's a down but it's not officially down you can go back and check out the old link but it's getting worked on so it's getting a new and approved and everything the website is and I also have plans in the future for more stuff like that so it's gonna come along let's say uh, within like the month or two months I should have that all up and running and you guys will hopefully enjoy that 
But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful and knowledgeable. But I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And if you guys liked, please leave a like and comment down below. And uh, upload every Friday. So other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is Antifonia. And just another fellow ant lover on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, bye bye.